This is Zach with Grow Freedom 1776. Uh, today we'll be talking about the cross vine. Um, it is a, an aggressive uh, evergreen vine. Once established, it is drought tolerant. Uh, it blooms in the mid to late spring. Uh, it has trumpet shaped blooms that the uh, hummingbirds will be attracted to and bees would be attracted to. Um, it has like a two inch flower. Uh, whenever it hits, a, has a frost, the, the foliage will kind of turn purple. Um, and we're, this is what we're gonna be talking about today. If I wanted to grow this at my house, where would I put it? This plant grows in full sun to partial sun. It does need some direct light. So it's a vine. What should I attach it to so it will grow? This uh, vine, cross vine, has tendrils that will grab almost any structure. And you have to be careful with like uh, mortar buildings or like brick that has mortar in it because it can get into the mortar junction. But like if you have a fence, just kind of point it towards the fence and it will attach itself. So this is a good plant to grow here in Texas, or Central Texas specifically? This uh, cross vine is native to East Texas. Uh, it can be grown uh, from East Texas to all the way to West Central Texas, um, even up in North Texas, like Dallas, Fort Worth area. Uh, once you get it established, it is drought tolerant, and they do come in many colors, um, and it can grow in different soil types as well. So how do I care for this beautiful vine? How much do I water it? Does it need lots of fertilization? Uh, this plant is very adaptable to different soil types. So uh, simple fertilization, you know, once or twice a year, once it's established, I would do a root stimulator multiple times in the spring or whenever you transplant it. Um, and as for water, it is, once it's established, very drought tolerant. Um, I would say when it's new, probably water it two, three times a week, check check, and make sure it doesn't dry up. And then once it's in the ground three to four years, it should be hardy to seasonal watering. It just might look sad if you don't water it. It will perform better if you do water and feed it. Um, but this, this plant is tough as iron once you get it going. So if I had just one vine, how much area could I expect it to cover? Would it cover an entire back fence? This vine could get as big and climb as tall as 50 feet, uh, but that could take a, quite a bit of time. So if you wanted to cover that space, I would put one about every picture, a, a piece of plywood, vertical or horizontal, and it should cover about that much area in a reasonable amount of time. If you were on a budget, two would cover 20 feet on each side of itself easily. But if you do need to cover that quickly, I would, you know, buy plenty. Like I said, you know, one per, if you picture a piece of plywood on its side or vertical, it would cover that in a very reasonable amount of time. So everyone around here wants to know, is this deer resistant? It is deer resistant. Um, the foliage is slightly toxic, but you have to be careful anytime you plant something new in an environment where there are deer, deer will nibble to try things. Well, thank you very much. That was very informative and I definitely want one of these vines. Thank y'all for watching and, you know, uh, if you need, have any questions, put them in comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate all the support. Thank you very much.